What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Teddy B. Blackman, and I'm back with another uh, series recap of the 2022 NBA first round playoffs. This will be in the Eastern Conference. Um, it is official. The Miami Heat have just put away the Atlanta Hawks, and um, obviously, my opinion about this series was, you know, Atlanta was in way over its head anyway. But this this last game. It's completely inexcusable, I feel like. Um, the Heat are down. Jimmy Butler, who is out due to right knee inflammation. Um, Kyle Lowry, the starting point guard, is out. And they're they're running uh, Victor Oladipo, who hasn't played in months, you know, outside of, like, you know, cleanup duty here and there. But for the most part, he's been sitting all season. Um, they let him completely go off tonight, um, and it, it, to me, it's just inexcusable. Uh, obviously, I don't, I don't blame the team per se. I feel like it starts with upstairs. Uh, I was definitely against the team trading um, Cam Reddish, which they should have kept, in my opinion. Um, Lou Williams is is injured, I believe. Is it, Lou Williams injured, right? He's out for the season. Something like that. Lou Williams hasn't played in a little while, I've noticed. And um the the odds already weren't in your favor, but games like this you really have to put away. There's really no excuse on why you you're getting, you know, ran out the gym by uh Victor Oladipo. I mean, obviously Bam is gonna be Bam. And then uh this undrafted kid Max Struess, um, hitting timely threes and things of that nature. But anyways, um, going into the off season, the Hawks have some uh things that they need to address because um this this team which made the Eastern Conference Finals last season, albeit I believe was just like a you know a fluke or whatever. Um, they just got lucky with a, a super underwhelming Knicks team. Uh, Philly absolutely scares nobody. And then, you know, injuries hampered them. So, obviously, that's the excuse they're going to pull when it comes to the Bucks. But I really think the Bucks would have uh, ran rough shot anyway. Um, they're going to uh, have to acquire another playmaker or something because this, this team has constructed. This is this this is the ceiling, I believe. Um, low Eastern Conference. And play in year in and year out. Um, Trey Young could not get it going this series. I think he had one credible game this series. Other than that, he's been off. Trey Young is going to have to slow down on shooting a bunch of these um logo three pointers. Uh, you know it looks good when they're going in, but in these type of games where so much is on the line and he's he's firing so many of these and he's breaking a lot of them. Um, stat line is not good at all. So he's going to have to uh, figure out a way how he can be more efficient, more effective going forward. And they're going to just have to put better players around him as well. Obviously, they didn't have a bogey in this closeout game, the game four. I believe this is game uh, game five, I think. Um, so he he's definitely been struggling outside of that game, too. Um, I think he went off game two. I think that was the big Trey Young game. Even though they still lost, I think that was the big Trey Young game. So, um, switching sides to the Heat, they're going to uh, await the winner of this Philly and Toronto series, which, you know, seemed all but over a few days ago. Now, uh, Toronto is a win away from putting some extreme pressure on Philly, but we'll get to that series when that series wraps up. Um, Miami's going to have a few days off here, which will be crucial for Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler. And and shout out to this team. Shout out to Pat Riley. Shout out to Eric Spolstra for uh, the construction of this team, man, because they got about think, uh, seven or eight undrafted players on their team, and they're putting their works, work in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? So this team will have some extra days to rest. Get, definitely deserve flowers. Uh, number one seed in the East, man. Don't get enough love. Everybody is it was on LeBron the whole year. Uh, Brooklyn, obviously, and Philly when they acquired James Harden, but that that has quietly died down because of uh, James Harden. You know, putrid play. Well, not putrid. He's been decent. He hasn't been you know 
the Houston James Rocket, which I think everybody's mentally programmed to want to see. But um, yeah, it it it's interesting because these guys have just been flying under the radar, and they have a solid, solid team. This team could easily make the finals from the Eastern Conference. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm guess I'm anticipating they're going to play against Philly, but you never know. So we'll see. But yeah, congrats to Miami Heat. They wrapping this up. Um, they have a well constructed team, so I can't really give what their ceiling is until their season ends, albeit the championship and the finals. Um, also, I know they do have a, a max contract slot. I think I believe is opening up, which would be crazy to think that they could add a another star player to this already you know solid complete team lineup. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Bam is being Bam tonight. Uh, Victor Oladipo, who could barely even get minutes at all, is, is you know, knocking down timely shots. Uh, Max Struess, uh, K. Vincent, I think his name is, or something like that. Um, Just really, really inexcusable loss, in my opinion, by, uh, from the Hawks. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This is 4-1. Miami Heat, then moving on to the semifinals, awaiting the winner of Philly and Toronto. If you are a Hawks fan, comment below and let me know what you think your team needs, as well as the Heat, you know what I'm saying? How do y'all feel about moving on to the second round? You, do you rather play Philly? Do you rather play Toronto? Um, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is a... Uh, Teddy B. Blackman, I'll be doing one of these for each, uh, you know, series that wraps up in the playoffs. So stay tuned for more. And if you missed the uh, previous one, my Brooklyn and Boston one, then go check that out as well. Cool.